use this brush? Can you make a portrait? Can you draw me? No? How about another picture of Charlie Brown? Charlie Brown's perfect. I'm going to move the painting like this. Right. When, we, when we do it, like when it runs out of paint, it makes a really cool pattern, right? It does. One of the most interesting things about when I watch my daughter paint is it's just free. She's just pure expression. My whole art is trying to see how much of that I can capture in code and then have my robots repeat that process. The first machine learning algorithms I started using were something called style transfer. They're convolutional neural networks. You can look at an image, then look at another piece of art, and it can apply the style from the piece of art to the image. And a lot of artists, including myself, do this. We, we develop an aesthetic, and then when we paint a portrait of someone, we have an algorithm in our head that applies the style. We pick the same colors, the same textures. Every brushstroke, my robots take pictures of what they're painting and use that to decide on the next brushstroke. I try and get as many of my algorithms in as possible. Depending on where it is, it might apply a GAN or a CNN, but back and forth, six or seven stages, painting over itself, searching for the image that it wants to paint. For me, creative AI is not one single god algorithm. It's smashing as many algorithms as you can together and letting them fight for the outcomes. And you get these like ridiculously creative results. Did my machine make this piece of art? Absolutely not, I'm the artist. But it made every single aesthetic decision and it made every single uh, brushstroke in this painting. There's this big question of can robots and machines be creative? Can they be artists? And I think they're very different things. Art uses a lot of creativity, but art is one person communicating with another person. Until a machine has something it wants to tell us, it won't be making art because otherwise it's just, just creating without a message. That's a good brushstroke. Is that Snoopy? Yeah. Because Snoopy is okay to get pink. Because dyes can be pink like poodle's hair. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to learn, I'm actually trying to teach my robots to paint like you. To try and get the patterns that you can make. It's hard. You're a better painter than my robots. Isn't that crazy? Yeah.